Is this much wood enough to cook this big steak on this small wood burning stove? Let's find out. Cue in the music. The Solo Stove. The Solo Stove. Titan. The Solo Stove Titan is a double walled constructed wood burning stove consisting of 304 stainless steel and nichrome wire. Weighing in at 16 and a half ounces with a measurement of 7.9 inches tall and 5.1 inches wide when assembled, it is ideal for backpackers and day trippers. The Titan is rated for two to four people, although personally I think four people may be a stretch unless they're really small people or they just need hot water. As for fuel, you can use sticks, twigs, pine cones, or your mom's old underwear. For those not familiar with the Solo Stove, it is very popular because of the efficient manner in which it burns its fuel, and it really doesn't need much, as you will see shortly. According to the website, the Titan can boil water within four to six minutes. However, in this demonstration, I fry a big piece of steak instead. If you're on a hiking trip, I doubt you will be carrying steak as a food source. But what can I say? Curiosity got the better of me. Besides, boiling water is boring. All right, let's get this guy out. The Titan comes securely packaged in a nice box. You get the stove and a handy carrying pouch that is quite sturdy. As you can see, there is no manual, but that's no problem because this stove is very easy to use. The reason it is very efficient at burning biomass is due to its design. At the bottom of the stove are vents that draw air upwards through the middle of the stove as well as up through the hollow walls and finally out through the top vents. The oxygen flowing out of the top vents are preheated by the flames and act as a secondary combustion, effectively cooking the smoke out of the wood which maximizes your fuel, therefore requiring very little of it. Speaking of fuel, you can purchase an optional alcohol burner for your stove that uses denatured alcohol as a source if you suspect there will be no wood at your campsite or along your hiking trail. To assemble the stove, just pull out the cooking ring nested inside, flip it right side up, and place it on top. All done. Let's do this. For fuel, I'm using some old firewood chopped up roughly into finger-sized pieces, a bit of dry leaves, and some twigs. I also have some drier lint that I will be using to start the fire. By the way, I have a fire extinguisher in case all hell breaks loose. Okay, this thing is packed. Let's get her going. The drier lint catches fire quickly, but it's not enough to light the fuel underneath. I, I messed up. What happened was I didn't put it in deep enough. <laughs> I meant what I should have done is place the lint beneath more of the twigs and the leaves. This next time around, I used a couple of cotton balls and placed it towards the side of the stove, and that did the trick. Within a few moments, the fire was at full burn and ready for the steak. When is the fire ready, you say? Once you see that secondary flame coming out of the upper vents. This means the secondary combustion is occurring, so carefully place the cooking ring on top, and you're good to go. Steak on top, and within a minute, it starts to sizzle. I flip it at the three minute mark and then fry for another three minutes, making sure to also sear the fat on the side. To add more fuel to the fire, just toss them in carefully into the opening here in the cooking ring. And done. Here it is, sliced up, medium rare. I then let the flames burn out and give it about 20 minutes before dumping out all the ash. Although the stove was already cool to the touch, I played it safe anyway and poured some water over the ash. So, do I recommend the Solo Stove Titan? Heck yeah! Although if you hike or camp alone, you may want to look at the smaller Solo Stove Light. Conversely, for larger groups, look into the Solo Stove Campfire, the biggest and heaviest model in the line. Two dirty thumbs up. Man, that steak sounds like a dirt bike when it's frying.